You'll leave this place feeling brand new, you know. So how's it going? Fine, thank you. Been a while since I've been able to relax like this. Oh, really? <sighs> Life can always be worse. You're telling me. Ah, you seem nice. You are making me blush, you. Doesn't get much better than this, right? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get much cleaner than this. Thank you. It was a pleasure. All the best to you. You disgraceful piece What's of crap. What's wrong with you? I don't take kindly to that sort of thing. That 
Let's go, girl. <laughs> Waltzing through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. Morning, friend. You think you're the tough one out here? Think again. I've only got to click my fingers and this town will string you up and call it justice. Morning, sir. Hey there! Hello. You want? Spread the word. The O'Driscolls are here. Easy, easy.
What in the hell? Never comes when the need. Let's go. Yeah. 
Okay, boy. Easy now. It's all right, boy. Calm down. understand this at all. Hey, over here! Mm -hmm. Senor! What's the problem? Problem? No, there's no problem. Quite the contrary. Well, there is a problem. For me, but not for you. All right. <laughs> I ain't got time for no, this. No, no, wait! Give me a minute of your life. I might just change it forever. I'm sure you will have heard of me. 
Máximo Cristobal Valdespino, the renowned explorer. Can't say I have. There has been much written about me. I once had high tea with the Viceroy of India. I helped liberate South America. I've climbed mountains and swum across seas. I have had many women. I've spent the last three months hunting treasure on the American frontier. Beautiful country reminds me a lot of Almeria. But tomorrow I set sail for the island of Shikoku in the Japanese archipelago in search of the legendary Tokushima Sapphire. Mm. Well, good for you. No, no, hold on. You see this map here? It was made by the Jack Hall gang. They robbed banks all the way from here to California. Yeah, I know who the Jack Hall gang are. Oh, them you have heard of, but me? Huh. Well, uh, rumor has it they buried gold somewhere in this area, but were killed before they could retrieve it. They created two maps to ensure it was well hidden. This is the first and should lead you to the second. You just need to follow the landmarks drawn here. Me? Yes. Unfortunately, I am out of time now, but I am prepared to sell it to you for the low price of... <gasps> $10. A trifling investment for a man such as you, given the potential returns. Well, ten dollars and it's yours. You must think I was born yesterday. <clears throat> Between us, this map has proven a challenge even for me. So, how about I sell it to you for just five dollars? One half less. Uh, why the hell not? Nah, can't be that hard to suss out. Excellent! I don't think you will regret it.
Whoa, easy. Okay then. Whoa, there. <laughs> ah, you're okay now. Don't worry. Yeah, you're okay. Easy. Whoa, easy. God damn it. Stay. It's okay. Easy.
There's a girl. Come, boy. Yep. Swanson! You hear, Reverend? Hello. Hello, mister. I tell you, life ain't easy. Bye. Swanson, you hear me? Gentlemen. Hi, yet. All right. Wait. Hello, mister. Mr. Morgan. I took your advice, sir. I took your advice. Then your god has finally deserted you. What you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him. He's finished. None of us forced liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Now, secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but seeing I do just fine. You want to step outside or do a business here? I just want him to finish the game! Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. <laughs> oh. Well, how's about you playing his place, huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Sure. I'll play a few hands. Well, sit yourself down, then. I'm Luther. This is Marvin. Fortunate for you both, we'll be...
gentleman about this. Same goes for you. So, how you two know each other anyway? Don't seem like the likeliest of friends, if you don't mind me saying. We go a long way back. And now you're his chaperone? I guess it's something like that. Can we play? Uh... He can't be no real clergyman. <laughs> he committed about five cardinal sins just in that chair you're sitting in. I think he used to be. He's... drifted a little in recent years. Life is a challenge to all of us. Can you imagine him at the pulpit? If he could stand up. On the fourth day, he turned water into whiskey, and I don't remember much after that. <laughs> Check. He's a decent fella going through a bad time. Disrespect him again, and you'll find yourself in a bad time, too. All right, all right. Just trying to have a little fun here. It is a game, after all, mister. Come on, let's get this going. Jesus, you play like my grandmother. Some time before we all grow old would be nice. I'm a play slow. I'll call. Hmm. Okay. Here, look. Pile of crap. Not looking good. Things are looking okay. Ah, well. Yeah. Okay. Yes. This is getting too rich for me. Sit down. Oh, I'm done, friend. It's been a real education. Come on, Rip. Where is he? Where'd he go? Who? The Reverend. Where it? <sighs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Reverend! Reverend Swanson! Where'd you go? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. <laughs> your mind hey your hands off him. Say a word. You'll keep. You stay out of it. Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch. What the hell is your problem? He's with me. I'll kill you both. Ah. You're going down.
can't hit me. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, a priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, <laughs> smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. No, you have no idea. Reverend! Over here! Get your hands off him! A word. You'll keep! You stay out of it! Get your hands off him now, you son of a bitch! What the hell is your problem? He's with me! You're going down! Please, don't hurt me. You need to wise up, mister. Yep. I I won't tell us so. I promise. I presume that means yes. It's the last thing I needed. Yes. I mean yes yep I I won't tell us so I promise it's the last thing I needed bad day to be you Reverend get off the damn tracks
Come on, my friend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be saved. to like this place and what stay get your foot out of here twist your leg you chunky bastard get it come on <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. Oh, oh no, you don't. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is wrong with you? Throwing me off a bridge like there that? There was your goddamn train, you crazy bastard. Have I been bad again, Mr. Morgan? I'm sorry. Ah. Uh... I wish I was different. <laughs> Let's get you home. Home? Yeah, that's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But... This way, girl. Papers, please. mumbling about now.
I was wondering when he'd show up. How are you? Ah, Hosea. I couldn't be in finer fettle. Glad to hear it. Better sleep your way to salvation, my friend. Oh, what happened? Just the usual. Poor <clears throat> bastard. Exactly. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. <sighs> Arthur. Hello, Mr. Morgan. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we gonna hit that bank I told you about? Hi there, Arthur. Always good to see you. Hello. Please, come on, you brought me in, help me. Speak. Don't cry, boy, speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, no you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! No, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Oh. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. <laughs> okay then, partner. Uh, uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this.